All right, so following Captain Luke's advice from the Southern Girl, I am now going to be using a uh, pot rather than crab uh, nets like I used last time. And following his advice, you see I've got bait shrimp in there. He says bait shrimp do best. So here we go. Let's see how this will do. That didn't do. This rope decided to all wad up. <laughs> That's a mess, man. That's worse than a basket of brim hooks. I've got one, but he ain't big enough. You got one? Yeah, if he ain't big enough. Hold on, I'll be there. As soon as I untangle all this crap. I'm just going to let the line down. Let yeah. him sink the bottom. I'll grab the net and get him up. I don't think he's big enough, though. Heck, I got one on that one, too. Good sign right there, man. Yeah. I'll take them. I need them. Look at this shit. So both places were out, huh? Yeah. But Gulf Fresh took my phone number. He said he's supposed to get some in this afternoon. He'll that, call that's me. usually the case with him. It's what somebody told me. It's usually after lunch before he gets them. No, he let go of it. Crap. All right, here we go. Ryan, you got some editing to do on this one, dude. There you go. Yeah, there's one on that one. All right. We got one already. Let's see what we got. Well, that line was way over there. Big surf rod to catch a crab on. How about yeah, that? I tell you what, you can cast all the way across this thing. Though. And folks with me, I got Glenn again. Uh, Glenn... There's not one on it. Not one? Oh, yes, there is, too. Proud University of Southern Mississippi alumni. And he taught me, because we were catching more on rods and reels than we were when I was using the nets last time. Nope, he's not there not now. There. Oh, well. Not there now. I need to get rigged up one of these rods. The idea, what the heck, is to cast that thing a ways out there and watch that rod tip. And when the crab starts gnawing on it, it tattles on itself and you reel it in and net it up. All right, so all I got there is a piece of chicken neck on this thing. Yeah, I can send that on out there with this thing. STX, this must be one of Ryan's reels. Well, it's a crabbing unit today. Crabbing unit today. Shimano Corrado, that says Rob all over it there. Get this thing off. Put my waist in my pocket and don't leave anything where it doesn't belong. Chicken neck. Just hook this bad boy on there like it comes by. And off it goes into the yonder. Yep. Ain't got much line on this thing. Now we wait for action. Morning. We got a crab on. And I think I got one wanting to come up over there, too. Yeah, yeah I got go. one, too. Well, go get yours. No, 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 no. He's let go. He did? Yeah. All right, here, take He's this. For sure. Got it? Yeah. Did he let go? Your rod was bent over pretty good. Yeah, but it, it, it felt like he dropped off. He did. I don't feel him. That's what my, I could feel it at first, and it was just, just wasn't there anymore. Maybe he'll come back. Actually, I think he has. Look how tight that line is now. Yeah. Mine's off. That line's awful tight. Matter of fact, move out of your way. Uh-oh, here, you got something went crazy okay. on yours. Let me go ahead and reel this It might in. be you. It may be. No, I'm above it. Okay. Yeah, I'm above it. Here. Well, I had something go crazy on both of them, didn't I? The other one was looking, just looking tight. I think just because it was just looking tight. But there's something on this one right here for sure. Oh, there's something on this one. Nope. Ain't nothing nope. on there. They're not wanting to hang on. Maybe running up here to Walmart grabbing some chicken legs or something. There's Casey. 
see what you got on this other one over here. After all that nonsense. After all that nonsense. Nothing. No, that ain't Casey. <laughs> I don't know who that was. That one closest to me is looking mighty suspicious again. I want to give them enough time to get that taste in their mouth. Yeah, right? that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to instead of let them, let them get obligated, you know? Yep. And this, this one right here has got that big old flap of fat on the back of it. Yep. It might be one they keep getting off. That's what it was hung to. So you put that, what time did you put that in? What's that? That, the pot, about, about 10 minutes ago? Yeah. Around 1230 or so? My son has taken my terminal tackle out of my tackle bag. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> CNN, fake. Son of a bitch. Bringing a damn tackle bag down here thinking you're good to go and realizing that your son is taking a tray out. Can why, you, I why? read about Yes, something's all over that one before I even throw this out. I'm going to let him chew on it for a while, though. Because that's the one that's got all that fat on it. Actually, something's on both of them. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him get really obligated. He's on this one. You got one? Yeah. Here's Casey. Casey is a longtime friend, a coworker at camp that I volunteer at, and just a sweetheart all the way around. And Was she, a stretch. Well, she <laughs> she was my best first mate. She when when I had to have a lifeguard go out on a boat with me, this was my first mate, and. Uh, she was great with those campers, and we have been out here playing with the crabs. If you'll pan around and look, we've got fishing rods out. We aren't using nets. We're using fishing rods, and we use that net. We just reel them up and net them into uh, the cooler, and we've got about seven in there right now. Uh, yeah, Six or eight. Six or seven, all right. And then I've got a crab pot that's set out over here that when we leave, we're going to pull it up and see what's in the pot. I would like to see what a crab pot looks like. Well, when, when we get ready to leave, you'll see it. <laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. Look, this is Casey. Casey's a longtime friend and a great fishing partner. Helped me at Civitan Camp quite a bit. Casey has a crab on. Don't go buying no seafood. Mama, Daddy's coming home with crabs. Um. Keep on slow. Feels really... Heavy? Yeah good like i got stuck on something but now it doesn't i like a good heavy crab so we're going to do something different with these crabs we aren't going to boil them you need to put them on the grill i'm going to one of my buddies on youtube ian he's got tug trash as his channel and he's trash. he's over in florida and he does all this and i saw him smoke some uh crabs and i'm like hmm i got a smoker i can do that so I'm gonna try his recipe. Stealing from you, Ian. What'd you steal? What'd you steal? I didn't steal anything. Take it out. You got the wrong Take guy. Take it buddy. out of here, man. What, I, what, what I is this? It. It's my winter weight. What is this? It's shit? my winter weight. Uh, Vienna sausage. Frisky. Did it get lighter? Uh -uh. Keep coming. You ain't got real that slow. It's heavy. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to fall off. He he's greedy. He's not gonna. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, he doesn't okay. have a I hook in. I better hurry up he finishes, huh? Wait. Did I leave? Oh, no. Yeah. You're good. See him. Oh my God. Uh. All right. <gasps> now lead. This is a little monster. Lead, lead him over this net. There ah! you go. Casey's first crab. I didn't catch that though. I just reeled it in. Oh, you caught it. Oh come on. I want to do it by myself. All, all right, then all you got to do is catch. Actually, I don't want to touch that. So and that's a male. How do you know? All right, look on this bottom down here. You see he's got a rocket ship. Oh my gosh. That's a male. A female has an apron. She's got a dome. An apron. Mm-hmm. So a sketched penis. Pretty much. Let me see a girl. I, I, said, I said rocket ship for the YouTube channel. Oh, but sorry. Okay. <laughs> This will be far enough in there, in the video, to where... I want to see the apron, though. I don't have... All I have you in here are males. Any... Oh, the girls are... Well, we have... They we... were waiting for Daddy to bring it home, but... We, we, had, we, had, some, uh, we had some crab porn with the, our first crab. Crab porn had... or corn? Do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? 
waiting on that. Yeah, see him playing with that white rod tip. You want to come over here and get him up? I'll net him. And this is the pot that I've got out there, that buoy, that buoy you see. I've got a crab pot sitting down there with shrimp. A as crab bait. pot? It's a trap. Crab trap. It's not a basket. It's a, well, it is a basket. It's a crab trap. I don't Here. know the difference between tink tink and hook. All right, just put it down and uh, come he's, reel this one in. He's still tink tinking. He'll, he'll let him chew on it. Oh, some. it takes a while. Okay. Yeah, sit, sit, sit it down. That's a surf rod, dude. Why are these left handed? Why are what? Why are they left handed? That's a, a spinning reel, it's a lefty. I turned around to the right side. And now you see we got Glenn in here with the net. Casey slowly reeling in. They love the middle one. It, 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 yeah. it dropped. I don't that think there's good. anything. Okay. On. Yeah, this one's tight. Let's put this back in the rack. That could be wrong. It's just that's a really big hole. They keep letting go of that one. All right, come over here, Casey. So we're looking for a tight line. Looking, looking to feel some weight. And when you when you start getting, if if you feel him on there, you, yeah, I'm looking at that tip. You got one. Ah. Uh, All right, bye. just stop, stop, stop reeling. See if he comes back and grabs it. So what weight is this? What pound test this, is this? What's it for catching? Red specks. It's just so big. It's a surf rod. Oh, it's the same in the water? Yeah. So he, he's got that so he can cast it further out there. Because it's a long rod. It's a long whip. He can uh, get out there and reach them. All right, Casey the Crabbing Queen. Oh, let me do it while he's not close so we don't scare him. There you go. Aha, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that, one's, that one's a keeper. See your wiener. Good job. All right, we've cast back out so you can catch you another one. I'm not very far. That's fine. You ain't got to be far. So it's just going to sit on the bottom? It sits on the bottom and the crabs... Come, Come get tink, it. Tink. Okay. Pull a little tink tink. Ain't All that a bitch? Right. You catching those dumb old guys? Is that what you said? The girl crabs are too smart? And suspicious. And suspicious. Yeah. yeah. Putting that in the water, you're out. Pulling that line, you're out. But these boys here, they're always back for more. Oh, yeah. I think you got something there. What's all this jumping fish out here? Mullet? Mullet. Something? They call them Bluxy Bacon. <laughs> what does Wikipedia call it? Ground mullet. Oh. One day later. Okay, everybody. Welcome back. We're in the kitchen today. Yesterday you saw us catch eight crabs. What a great day. Uh, seven of them we caught that were on rods and reels we caught a bunch of little ones that we couldn't keep we could keep seven that we caught uh and then i caught one in a crab pot i'm doing these a different way than we normally do in south mississippi or south louisiana which we typical boil uh the crabs the same big crawfish pots we do when we boil crawfish what we're going to do today is a new orleans style uh barbecued shrimp I'm going to make the barbecue shrimp sauce, and when I make this barbecue shrimp sauce, I'm going to solidify it in the fridge for a little bit, and then I'm going to pack the inside. Now, I can't show you me cleaning these blue crabs because this is Facebook, and they don't like showing cleaning stuff. So the next time you see the crabs, uh, they're going to be cleaned. The way I do that is I remove the carapace. Once you pop the carapace off, you take the dead men's fingers out, uh, take the face off the front, and then you wash out all the mustard on the inside. I know everybody in Maryland's going, what do you mean you wash out the mustard? We're gonna fill it up with this Orleans, uh, New Orleans style barbecue crab um, sauce. So it's gonna be okay, trust me. Then we're gonna put it on 
a grill. I'm going to put it on the Pit Boss 1600 Pro Elite, and that's going to be smoked crabs. And this is the first time I've ever done this, so we'll see. First, to make my sauce, what I need to do uh, is I'm going to get two sticks of butter and put it in a medium saucepan. Put on some medium heat. Go ahead and get this thing starting to clarify that butter. And then... I'm going to add the rest of these ingredients. So when I get this butter clarified, I'm going to come back and start adding the rest of the ingredients. And Ryan keeps telling me I need to give y'all measurements. So I'll tell you what it is uh, as I'm doing it. But I've mixed all of my dry spices in this one cup. I'll dump them, but I'll tell you what I put in there for my dry spices. All right, so my clarified butter is well it's not quite clarified yet but it's melted down enough where i'm going to start adding these different ingredients so i've got two sticks of butter in here and what i'm putting in right here is two ounces of extra virgin olive oil if you want to call it a quarter cup you can call it a quarter cup a quarter of a cup is two ounces i'm going to put in two ounces of worcestershire sauce of your choosing now, FYI, this is the same stuff that I um, use when I char grill my oysters. And it's also the same stuff that I do the barbecue shrimp. And I don't know why they call it barbecue, because you ain't put it on the grill or anything. You put it, you make this sauce, you put your whole head in shrimp, put it in a, in a pan and put your shrimp in there and put it in the oven at 350 until they're done. And that's what uh, they call barbecue shrimp. This is... Um, minced garlic this is about six cloves worth six cut up green onions whites and green this is two tablespoons of lemon juice but I also have if you look I've got four little slices of lemon in there too so you get that zest that lemon zest cooking down as well I have two bay leaves we're gonna pull these out before we put them in our crabs my dry spice is your choice of two tablespoons of a Cajun seasoning. I don't, I don't know what Cajun seasoning y'all may want to use, but that's, that's what you use. Uh, I got a teaspoon of oregano in there, two and a half teaspoons of paprika in there. I've got a teaspoon of black pepper, and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this in that pot. And I'm gonna bring this up to a simmer. And I'll pull the lemons and the bay leaves out when I'm done with this. I'm gonna get it to a good simmer, mix everything together. Let it all cook together. And then I'll scoop out, like I said, the bay leaves and the lemons. And then I'm gonna put it in the fridge to cool it down to solidify. It'll solidify back up with that butter in there. That way I can scoop it into the inside of the clean crabs, which you'll see here in a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for with my sauce. I've got it, I've been simmering down for about 15 minutes and those onions are, uh, are melted down in that butter they, they're getting soft the lemons have shrunk up the bay leaves are good and wet so what i'm going to do now as you see it's been a rolling simmer for about 10 15 minutes i'm going to go ahead and shut this heat off and let it slowly come down then i'm going to move it to this back burner back here and let it cool off a little bit more rapidly pick out my bay leaves and pick out my lemons and then i will let it cool down enough for me to put in a container and put in the fridge to kind of get it solidified. Okay, so here we are. You've seen me make the sauce. I put it in the refrigerator and got it congealed up where it looks like this. It's just a paste. Okay, I didn't show you how I cleaned the crabs because YouTube. But this is what a cleaned crab looks like the Florida way so this recipe that we're doing I learned from my buddy Ian uh, who is tug trash outdoors I've reviewed some of his videos if you haven't already gone over there to Ian's channel and subscribe to him and like some of his stuff please take the time to go over there I'm gonna have a link or Ryan's going to have a link to his channel in the descriptions of this video so you can see who taught me how to do this. This is how in Florida and on the east coast I guess 
they will clean a crab like this before it's ever cooked. And then they'll, I, I've seen where they ball these like this. And I'm, I'm like, why would you do that? I mean, you've cleaned out all the mustard. I know everybody in Maryland is freaking out. What'd you clean the mustard out for? Well, Ian makes a sauce that he puts in there. So the sauce that I have is a Louisiana barbecued shrimp, a New Orleans barbecued shrimp sauce. And I put this in the fridge to congeal it. So I'm gonna be able to spoon this into the spot where we wiped out all the mustard. So without further ado, Pit Boss is sitting at 249 degrees. We're gonna put these crabs on the grill. And when I put them on here, I'm gonna leave them on for about five, maybe six minutes. This is my dude that had no claws. His claws had all got pulled off. But he's got all that good lump meat in there. And this guy too, he had just little bitty claws. But I'm gonna put these in there. I'm gonna take this teaspoon and where I cut out all that mustard, I'm jamming it full of this paste to where it looks like this now. That's gonna get all down in that good crab meat. It's gonna be good, yeah. I'm at still at 250 degrees. Now at 140, 249. It's all right, it's saying 249. But that fan's going, it's keeping those wood pellets all chopped up and heated up. So we're gonna leave these on here for about five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna take a look at them and probably flip them at that point. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. After about five minutes, I'm gonna look at these crabs and I'm probably gonna flip them over. And when I flip them over, I had that congealed that I put on them when I was putting it in the cavity so it'll melt down into all that crab meat. But I've got some that's not congealed that I can brush on because I'm gonna flip them. And when I flip them, I'll brush this on the palastrum. My mother said, I call that the shell. That's the carapace of a crab. I'm gonna paint this because I wanna have this all over the crab and we'll flip it over and cook it for probably another three or four minutes. We're gonna look at it and see how well the meat cooks. And again, Ian, thank you so much for showing me this way. This is my first attempt at this, so we're gonna see how this turns out. Like I said, in South Mississippi, South Louisiana, we typically ball our crabs. This is something new to me, and when I told the folks, hey, this is what I'm doing, they were like, what? Now, here's another thing. Because I'm cooking for some octogenarians. Damn, that's a tough word. Octogenarians. Because I'm cooking for them, they don't want a whole bunch of spice. All right, so here we are. I'm going to kind of check these things. And I'm going to let them cook a little bit more because I'm still seeing blue on these claws. We're just going to let them keep going. What I'm about to do is it's been about four minutes on this side. I'm going to go ahead and get into some of this congealed and paint on this side again. I'm going to flip and probably give them another minute or so because I'm still seeing some blue on the bottom side of these claws. And I want to know that I've got all this meat cooked. Like I said, I'm running at about 250. Woo, that smoke gets in your eyes, you. Oh, yeah. Damn, these things are looking pretty dang awesome. And look, this is the first time I've ever had smoked crabs. But you know me. I'm a brisket guy. I'm a pulled pork guy. I'm a ribs guy. I'm a chicken guy. Hey, if I can smoke seafood like this, you know I'm going to dive in and test it with both feet. Let me let that sit for another minute or two. And then we'll pull these bad boys off. It is about time to see how we did. This tray here, I had the crabs on before they were cooked. All right, so here we go. My crabs are done. It's time to pull them off. Oh, 
they're looking pretty. They are looking pretty. Ain't a whole bunch of them. It's only eight. That's what we caught yesterday. So that's what we cooked today. Well, we caught way more than eight, but we had a whole bunch that weren't legal size. So I'm going to go ahead and set this right here. I'm going to stop this smoker. Now the beautiful thing is it went into shutdown mode, but the beautiful thing about this is that fan is going to keep blowing in that pellet box to make sure that it burns off all the excess pellets. So you don't have a whole bunch left. You'll end up with a little ash pile at the bottom. Fixing to come in with the crobs. All right, Ian, so here I am. I'm trying it out. For Mississippi boy, this is not the way we normally do crabs. But let's see, I'm going to come back here to my swimmer. Mm. It's sinful enough. It's sinful just like barbecue shrimp. Ian, I think you might have taught me something new. Mm. All right. Um... Yeah, I, I'm going to have to say, you were spot on with this one, dude. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far into the video, please mash that like button. If you haven't subscribed, give me a subscribe. Please go check out Ian's link that's going to be in the description.